Hello, I'm Dimitri. Today, my peers and I are going to talk to you about VARG, the four learning styles. We're going to begin with the letter V, which stands for visual, with Chad. Hi, I'm Chad Doherty, and I'm going to talk to you about the visual learner. Here are some characteristics of visual learning. A visual learner sees to learn. They take in information like color diagrams and color pictures. They prefer to see rather than to listen. This helps them visualize and stay interested. A visual learner takes very detailed notes. If you see a visual learner looking around, that means they've lost interest and have become distracted and are looking for something to watch. A visual learner also struggles with and is easily distracted by any noise. They also have trouble with spoken direction and have trouble remembering them. Here are some learning tips of the visual learner. A visual learner needs visual aids to help with the spoken word and directions. A visual learner needs to visualize everything that is spoken to them and everything they hear. If you're a visual learner, write it down. Write down keywords, ideas, or instructions, especially if they're only given to you orally. Draw. Draw anything that will help you remember. Doodle, whatever. Use mind maps and drawing to help you remember. Color. In your notes, color code everything. Have different colored highlighters. Highlight it with different things so you can remember and underline anything in your notes that will help you. Thank you. Hello, I'm Dimitri. I happen to find myself an auditory learner. Auditory in the dictionary relates to a sense of hearing. So when people talk about auditory learners, those are the ones whose auditory nerves get stimulated to the brain to help them interpret information better. A couple of popular synonyms that go along with auditory are audience, which is obviously a group of people sitting there hearing everything going on, and my favorite, audile, which is a mental imagery related to a sense of hearing or an experience through hearing. For instance, somebody walks over and gives me a set of instructions on a paper it says, please have this done by 3.30. That's it. As opposed to somebody walking over, okay, we need to get this done. We can have this done first, and we can get this done easier by this, and so on. A couple of traits that auditory learners hold are they enjoy talking. Now, in my case, it's not so much as an extrovert, but it's more as when I get to a problem or issue, I like to get to the bottom of it by discussing it face-to-face. And another one is auditory learners enjoy music. Now, I enjoy everything from the performer to the production and everything in between. It feels I know the artist before they even blow up and they're being interviewed about everything about them. So that's just a few things on auditory learning. Thanks. Hello, I'm Alex Garcia. And so far we have discussed two different learning styles. I will be talking about the characteristics as well as the pros and cons of the reading and writing learning style. Learners of this type prefer picking up information from notes, handouts, textbooks, and glossaries, and they tend to remember information better when they write it down. They enjoy researching and reading in their free time, and you will notice them excelling in multiple choice and essay exams. This is due to a few factors. They have critical thinking they pay attention to detail, and they have strong comprehension skills. However, they may struggle to process information that is presented orally in a busy setting. They prefer an isolated setting and work alone. Another disadvantage, which I believe is of great importance, is that it is time consuming. Rereading material and taking notes is a tedious process. Another type of many learning styles is kinesthetic learning. Kinesthetic learning is the act of performing a physical activity as an active participant instead of listening to a lecture or watching a demonstration. Many kinesthetic learners learn best when their bodies are alert and moving. 
A good example of kinesthetic learning would be learning how to ride a bike because your body is physically doing the movements that are needed. There are many great benefits to this learning style because it encourages physical activity, bolsters cognitive, social, and emotional development. A weakness of many kinesthetic learners is that it's very hard for them to perform tasks that require them to sit still for a long period of time. Bodily kinesthetic learners and intelligence is the capacity to manipulate and use a variety of physical skills. Athletes, dancers, surgeons, or craftspeople all exhibit very well-developed kinesthetic intelligence. Kinesthetic learning is one of the most beneficial learning styles there is because you are able to personally interact with what you are learning and that's why you are able to retain it so well. So knowing your learning style can help improve your grades. We hope you found this video informative. Thank you for watching.